I want you to think back to that first time that you put on them shoulder pads. The first time you felt that field underneath your feet. The first time you strapped up your helmet. To everybody else, this is a game. But your spirit deep inside, it knew it was more than just a game to you. It was gonna be your life. You knew way back in Pee Wee. Way back in middle school, way back in high school. This was different for you. We fell in love with sweat. Them tour days, the anticipation of the bus rides, the excitement of running out under the lights and realizing the full potential of what everybody else called a game. The whole recruiting process, the all-star games, choosing your college years of learning the principles, the traditions, and the values of this game. All that sweat and grind led you to here. Do you hear that? That's the sound of opportunity knocking. You have been given a chance to earn a spot, to leave a legacy. Everything you ever have wanted is right in front of you. The question is, how bad do you want it? At this level, everything is different. You'll be squaring off with the best players, the best athletes in the world. So I ask you again, how bad do you want it? Now the same level of focus, the same level of grind, the same level of tape study that you did in college will not suffice here. Only the best of the best will make it here. How bad do you want it? Now I'm gonna give you the blueprint to making this leap. Every play, 120. Every rep, 120. Every set, 120. Every single day, you gotta give everything you have and leave it all on that field. If you come back into the locker room with anything in you, then you have failed. The coaches at this level are not babysitters. They won't potty train athletes. Athletes that understand what it takes to be a champion at this level. The only credit cards accepted here are blood, sweat, and tears. All excuses are denied. All excuses are rejected. Nobody cares. Can you execute? That's what's gonna make the difference whether you make this team or not. We know you got ability. We know you got talent. We know you worked your whole life to get here. But today, can you execute? To make this league, you have to buy into the process. There's gonna be some plays that you mess up. There's gonna be some plays that you make the wrong reads. There's gonna be some plays that you get burnt. But what the coaches are gonna look at is how do you respond to play after that? The coaches are looking to see whether they can count on you or not. When the game is on the line, when everything matters, when the lights are on and the crowd is roaring, can they count on you? How bad do you want it? That's the question. I say it again, how bad do you want it? If you make a mistake on that field, you make it full speed, all in, 120, be slow. For this team to go to the Super Bowl, they need players that will put the fear in the opposing team. If they put you out on the field, will the other team fear you? Nothing can be denied, the one that won't be denied. How bad do you want it? I got a question for you. Are you living life, or is life living you? How bad do you want to be successful? Are you ready to level up in life? Are you ready to go to that next level? Are you sick of being average? I ask you again, are you living life, or is life living you? Less than unstoppable, the International World Tour. Dr. Billy Brooks, coming to a city near you. I'll be teaching a four hour, life changing, Seminar on the art of greatness. Arise, champion. Every city will sell out. Get your tickets now. Hawaii, Houston, Phoenix, Atlanta, DC, Denver, Frisco, Boston, Philly. We coming. Be there. Get your tickets now at blessedandunstoppable.com. When you truly buy into your dream the future will not make you out a liar opportunity stalks people that know what they want in life now the people closest around you will be the last to see the change in you classes in session fire troop music now the foundation of greatness is built on the crown 
with each letter of the word crown representing a law or element of success that we must tap into if we want to go to that next level. Now C is the first letter in the word crown. And it stands for consistency. What you do day to day, consistently, will reveal to the world your true level of commitment. The first page in my book says success is a marathon of consistency walked out one day at a time. It's not a sprint. Now hear me out. When effective action marries consistency, greatness is born. That next level. Next level greatness is birthed out of consistently aligning your mind, mouth, and actions with the fundamental laws of success. Our everyday world is just the sum total of our most dominant thought patterns. Lack, sickness, and failure cannot sustain themselves in an environment of high vibrational thoughts. If you think greatness, if you constantly meditate on the things that it takes to go to that next level, the next level must bow to you. When you truly Buy into the dream, your actions will reflect that which you have bought. A thought sustained long enough will eventually produce an equivalent outcome. Small, aligned actions wrapped with consistency eventually produce massive results. The process of success requires you dominating every second of the day. To go to that next level, you have to dominate the small things. If you dominate the small things, eventually the big things will come back. Real fate will bend and shape reality. That brings us to R, the second letter in the word crown. And that R stands for real. The key to liberation is embracing your own truth. It's keeping it real with yourself and those around you. A disciplined mind rooted in truth can do the impossible. When you align yourself with the real, all the barriers, obstacles, and limitations that you felt in your life will be begin to dissolve and dissipate right before your eyes. Those who wrap themselves in truth become unstoppable. Those who don't respect truth will choke on the lies and illusions of life. Surround yourself with those who cannot breathe without keeping it real. Success stalks those who wear authenticity. In today's world, real is rare, and anyone who can boldly commit to it will have a lane all to themselves. Truth is the couture for greatness, and every time you face something you fear in truth, you go to a deeper level of growth, awareness, and personal power. Those who chase trends instead of pursuing their own truth disqualify themselves from greatness. If you want to have a niche, an advantage in business, make real your foundation. Every decision you make for your business, filter it through the value of being real. Be real with your customers. Be real with your employees. Be real with yourself. Those who can keep it real are in the least contested, least competitive, but most in demand market there is in the business place today. Truth is the language of those who are alive. To walk in truth is to vibrate at the highest level of human existence. The world does not need another carbon copy of somebody that you admire. You can learn from them, yes. But eventually you have to be you, the one God designed you to be. The DNA that you have on the inside of you has greatness in it. Some of you want the approval of others more than you want success, and that's not going to happen. I'm going to tell you why. See, the need for approval pollutes the raw truth required to achieve greatness. Now, the third letter in crown is O, and that O stands for own it. Never rent, lease, or borrow success. Own it. Decide what it is that you really want in life. Then plant your flag deep down in that dirt. Go put the money down at the title office, get the deed. Go get the U-Haul, pack your stuff up, and move there and never leave. Your work ethic will reveal to the world whether you are a permanent resident of success or whether you are just a tourist passing through. Only when good stops being enough will greatness reveal itself. Some say they are loyal to greatness, but in reality they have a mistress called Average. Stop having 
having affairs with mediocrity and own that which you say you want. If you really want to taste greatness, then you have to be willing to give up and let go of every belief system, every word, thought, and action that is keeping you at the level you are at now. Champions make adjustments, not excuses. Winners take full responsibility of their outcomes. They own their situations. In order for self-help books, positive quotes, or motivational videos to change your life, they have to be absorbed more than just in your mind. They have to take root down in your spirit. Someone with real faith needs no external validation. They just own their dream with absolute belief. Own it. That brings us to the fourth letter in crown, W, which stands for winners win. See, champions that win on a consistent basis, they do so because they think different. You see, winners refuse to go to bed until they are better than they were yesterday. If average is not good enough, and greatness is what you want, then you have to create an environment conducive for that. Now, I grew up in North Alabama, and college football is all we know. From the time I was one week old, I was sitting on my daddy's knee watching Bear Bryant lead his team out on the field. He created a culture there at the University of Alabama that is still alive today. Back in Coach Bryant's time, they used to play 12 games a year. To go 11 and 1 was an off year. See, in most schools, 11 and 1 would have got you a raise, would have put you in the Hall of Fame there at the university, but not at the University of Alabama. We didn't come for 11 and 1. We came for the ring. We came for the trophy. We come for the legacy. It's bigger than that. And that environment, that culture that Coach Bryant created years ago, is still going on with Nick Saban today. Five national championships later. Now, this past year, they got beat in the national championship game with 14 and 1. Beat every opponent by 10 plus points during the regular season. One of the greatest seasons of all time, but they did not win the championship. It was a failure this year. And if you don't believe me, just look how many coaches are on staff this year that was on staff last year. Winners win. Now growing up, I was a national champion in martial arts, four-time state champion, trained with the Olympic team. And people used to ask me, uh, do your parents put you under all the stress to win all the time? I said, no. This is my identity. This is who I am. The desire to win comes from the inside out, not the outside in. Winners have it on the inside. The times I experience the most discontentment or the most stress is when I'm not living up to my own inner standard. Not the standard that somebody put on me, but the standard that I live by. The one that's on the inside of me. The DNA or that red clay mud that I come from that says 11 to 1 is not good enough. Winners win. Now Dabo Sweeney took that same culture, that same way of thinking, that mindset, that heart, that DNA of greatness, he took it over to Clemson. He exported the culture, the environment, the mindset, and set it up in Clemson. The results speak for themselves. Two national championships later. Winners win. Whatever you win in the mind, you will eventually win in the body. Whatever you conquer in the mental, you will eventually conquer in the physical. You gotta win first. In your mind! That brings us to the last letter in crown, which is N, which stands for no excuses. Some of you need to hear me now. Champions don't make excuses. Champions make adjustments. Average is a deadly, rapid, spreading disease. This plague is responsible for killing the aspirations and dreams of millions. If you have to fail at something in life, let it be mediocrity. Being a champion in life requires understanding every aspect of your opponent and the best way to do this is to look in the mirror that's your opponent right there you if you spend as much time grinding and doing the things that it takes to be successful as you did running your mouth giving excuses to why you couldn't do something you would already have success right now every time you pop up in my news feed i see another excuse from you somebody don't believe in you somebody won't open the door for you they won't give you an opportunity you say you lost that promotion to politics you say you can't go to the next level because of your skin color you too tall you too short, you too fat, your background, you don't have the right connections, you don't come from the country club, all of that is just an excuse. Stop whining and start grinding.
Nothing can be denied, the one that won't be denied Your legacy won't be defined by how many supporters you have But rather how you responded when people didn't support you The moment you no longer need the validation of others to keep going Is the moment you become unstoppable When you can get to the point that your demeanor doesn't change When people don't support you Then you are ready for success The people destiny has assigned to you will recognize your talent Those who don't are not part of your destiny now to close out, I want you to say this with me. From this moment forward, I declare war on mediocrity. Average is the plague and I will have nothing to do with it. I will not live financially limited any longer. I will not make excuses for my own actions. I will own my dream with my mind and my actions. I will refuse to concede to any other outcome than the one I believe for. I will go to war with being overweight, with being somebody else that I was never meant to be. I will live in truth every single moment of my life. I will no longer bow to fear. I will make fear bow to me. Failure is not an option for me. No matter how many times I get knocked down, I will keep getting back up. And when I'm dead and gone and they put me in the ground, they will say, there lies a person who truly lived. This is Billy Brooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable. And to God be the glory. Blessed and unstoppable. Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. And my new book, Blessed and Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal. From living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen. New doors of opportunity will open and favor will begin to chase you down. Blessed and Unstoppable is a 31 day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Blessed and Unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at blessedandunstoppable.com. Also available on Amazon. Gorgeous is a struggle, passion undeniable Big city dreams outgrowing small town people Mountains tremble in fear of being conquered Fire and truth, yeah they can see the difference Immortal legend, destiny paint pictures Global ambitions, accolades and recognition Material love, got me dreaming and wishing Serial love, lukewarm something missing Genius thinking, at war with small minds Stubborn won't listen, rare wonderful kind Wonderfully designed, her beautiful ways Got us both breathing Passing tongue, kissing for days Numb from the fallout Years of not knowing Glowing, hurting but refusing to show it Exposing, wrestling with the lord of lies Gorgeous is the struggle Watch me rise Fake the sweat, qualified a legend You don't get to the top By crying and begging, we go out and get it Ain't scared of trouble Misfits of hunger Gorgeous is the struggle Pain and tears We've been grinding for years Wounded, emotional Knives and spears Paralyzed by fear In the ring with trouble Misfits of hunger Gorgeous is the struggle Faith and sweat Qualified a legend You don't get to the top By crying and begging We go out and get it Ain't scared of trouble Misfits of hunger Gorgeous is the struggle Pain and tears We've been grinding for years Wounded, emotional Knives and spears Paralyzed by fear In the ring with trouble Misfits of hunger Gorgeous is the struggle The war with algorithms Lying lips Captains of folly going down with the ship Rejecting fads Pursuing truth Poor little lambs trapped in chicken coops Duped into following the blind Concrete signs of the end of times Find true music 
chasing what's real the inner symphony something they can never steal. No white flags, I'm on attack. Setbacks, seen the setups for the breakthroughs. Work ethic insane, paying dues. Front page news, selling out venues, fake news. Truth is forever, crimson flowers blooming in the dark weather. Save me from the ways of the forgettable. Dog sized rats, house barely livable. The dream lives on, black is the day. Breathless angel, royal reign, never was mundane. Love everlasting, a diamond hidden in the smoke and ashes Misfits of hunger, soaring through the skies Fire and truth, yeah, they see the difference Grand ambitions, grind over bottles Make love to the moment, gorgeous is the struggle Faith and sweat, qualified a legend You don't get to the top by crying and begging We go out and get it Ain't scared of trouble, misfits of hunger, gorgeous is the struggle, pain and tears, we've been grinding for years, wounded, emotional, knives and spears, paralyzed by fear, in the ring with trouble, misfits of hunger, gorgeous is the struggle, faith and sweat, qualified a legend, you don't get to the top, by crying and begging, we go out and get it. Ain't scared of trouble, misfits of hunger, gorgeous is the struggle, pain and tears, we've been grinding for years, wounded, emotional, knives and spears, paralyzed by fear, in the ring with trouble, misfits of hunger, gorgeous is the struggle. The struggle is real, but you know you were meant for more. That dream that's on the inside of you just won't shut up. Because you know you were meant for more. You've always been different. They never understood you. They've always doubted you. Because you're different. But you know something that they don't know. You know, to be successful, you cannot follow the masses. You gotta be different. And you are bold enough to be you. You've always been different. Success ain't for everybody. B7U clothing. Wear your identity.